All of us go about our daily lives with the knowledge that at any moment it could all be cut short by a killer asteroid. We don't like to think about it or admit it, but we all know it's true. Despite all of our technology and advancements in science, the human race can't compete with the sheer destructive force of an asteroid on collision course with Earth. That brings us to a very important question. What are NASA and other government agencies doing to stop an asteroid from ending all of humanity? Do we even stand a chance against something of this magnitude? Let's take a look at NASA's secret nuclear program designed to blow up asteroids. Before we get into how NASA is going to save our planet, we need to discuss how they even find these asteroids in the first place. Make no mistake, the sort of asteroid that would wipe out mankind will be big. In fact, they can be the size of an entire American state. Despite that, they aren't always easy to find. That's because the solar system is so vast that even an asteroid as massive as Rhode Island or New York could get lost in the great depths of space. That's where NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, or PDCO, comes into play. This official arm of NASA is tasked with detecting asteroids or other interstellar menaces and then determining the size, mass and amount of danger posed by them. Did you know that on any given night there are close to 100,000 individual observations of asteroids? It's true, a nearly endless amount of space rocks are spotted every single day. Luckily, most of these have been noted before and their trajectories have been tracked. Nothing to worry about there. But when a new asteroid is found, it goes through a rigorous process to make sure that it won't cause humans any harm. Through the use of radar technology, PDCO and its partners, such as the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, can determine things like size and shape. It also figures out if this new asteroid is on its own or orbiting a larger, more dangerous rock. These abilities make radar so much more useful than old-school telescopes. Instead of just seeing the asteroid, scientists are now able to really examine it, map it and understand it far better. So far, we have lucked out with asteroids. There hasn't been any catastrophe coming from space, yet. The truth is that the only thing on our side so far has been luck. So what happens when our luck runs out? What's the plan when a radar picks up an asteroid or comet coming straight for us? The first thing you have to remember about nuking an asteroid is that the goal wouldn't necessarily be to blow it up. In fact, blowing up an asteroid might be the worst approach to avoid death and destruction. Think of an asteroid as a giant ice cube. When you shatter an ice cube, what happens? It becomes a bunch of smaller ice cubes. Following that logic, if NASA attempted to blast an asteroid, it could actually generate a mass of smaller, still dangerous rocks that would be headed straight for Earth. The better idea would be to nudge an asteroid that was on track to hit the planet. NASA has found that nuclear weapons are 10 to 100 times more effective at moving asteroids out of a collision course with Earth than non-nuclear options. That's because the energy density of a nuke is much, much higher than normal materials. That gives a nuke the perfect amount of force to push an asteroid off its track. So how would this nudging option, officially called deflection, work? It's simple, we would launch a nuclear device near an asteroid and then set it off. Detonating a nuclear bomb above an asteroid completely annihilates an amount of the asteroid's surface area. Following that, this area of the asteroid is superheated and expands, which then creates a pressure wave in the rest of the asteroid and produces a rocket-like exhaust that pushes the asteroid in a new direction. Essentially, the bombing creates a reaction that changes the asteroid's trajectory. 
It's a solid idea, and one that is scientifically sound. But what about that other idea, the one that involves literally blowing up the asteroid? Common sense and previous scientific tests have suggested that would only result in the smaller asteroid pieces we spoke of. But is that really the case? Has new science proven that it's not nearly as dangerous as we once thought? Prominent new research shows that this idea of blowing up an asteroid, also known as disruption, might actually be a good approach to stopping an asteroid before it can destroy Earth. Scientists at John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory ran a bunch of simulations to see what would happen if a nuke truly decimated an asteroid and the consequences of it. The results? Not too bad. Using a software program titled Spheral, the team modeled the lingering effects of a nuclear disruption on a hypothetical asteroid. The software tracked the fragments from the detonation and then took a lot into account, including the gravitational effect of other planetary bodies nearby the fictitious space rock. Using a proposed one megaton bomb near the surface of a 328 foot long asteroid, the simulation was run multiple times. In the end, the bombing resulted in preventing 99% or more of the impacting mass from hitting Earth. In fact, in some of the simulations, over 99.9% .9 of the asteroid's mass missed Earth entirely, especially when a nuke was fired into it months in advance. The bigger the asteroid got, the less encouraging the simulation was. But they were still exceptionally good with a consistent amount of 99% of the total mass flying right by Earth. These tests proved that attempting to blow up an asteroid instead of just deflecting it isn't a bad idea, especially if it's done months in advance of impact and primarily done on smaller asteroids. However, the man running the experiment, Patrick King, said that there is an inherent risk in exploding an asteroid. By making several fragments instead of one single impactor, King said, it is possible that we multiply the threat. On the other hand, disruption has its own advantages and a disruption could succeed where a deflection might not. This is all part of the process of evaluating what technique to use. The most surprising thing about these new tests is that it suggested that disruption would be the best approach to stopping an asteroid with little notice. The other option of nudging the asteroid off its current track would require contact with the rock far, far, far in advance of its impact on Earth. But disruption could work even if the comet or asteroid isn't noticed early on. The truth is that NASA and the government will have multiple options on how to stop an asteroid when it comes racing to Earth and they are about to put it to the ultimate real-world test. On November the 24th of this year, NASA will launch its DART mission. The mission will see a spacecraft travel great distances to the Dimorphos asteroid on October the 2nd, 2022. When it reaches that point, the spacecraft will smash right into the rock in hopes of altering the asteroid's speed and trajectory. If this test succeeds, it will teach NASA a whole lot about what can and can't be done to stop a life-ending, world-destroying asteroid from crashing into the surface of our planet. It just goes to show how seriously NASA is taking this threat. They are finally putting their knowledge and expertise to the test and seeing if their plans could actually result in saving the world. Hollywood gets a lot wrong about asteroids. For one, you can't expect to see anyone like Bruce Willis landing on one. But the movies did get one thing right. Asteroids are no joke, and they really could cause massive, terrifying destruction on Earth. Thankfully, the science behind defending us from asteroids is getting stronger and stronger, and advancing in some tremendous and important ways. 
Thanks to the latest simulations and scientific estimations, we now have multiple options for saving the world and everyone living on it. While we should still be very vigilant and keep watching the skies, we can rest assured that we have a growing defense against the dangers of space. That's all for this video. But have you heard about the recent discovery that was found on Mars? Click the video on your screen and I'll show you what left NASA scientists baffled. I'll see you there.